Hello and welcome back to Abingdon. Welcome back to our tour of one of the worst towns in England. England. The 13th worst town apparently. Yes. Um, Abingdon. Abingdon. Yeah. Now I'm just going to film this Mazza because this is what I was telling you about earlier. Yeah. Moreland, Abingdon. That was the brewery who oh, Green King bought out. See. They're the ones who invented yeah. and made Old Speckled Hen until Green King from Bury St Edmunds came along, bought We're it. We're not here to run down Bury. Bought actually. it for 174 million pounds and then just ripped it all down and moved it to Bury. Well, you're not running my town down today. So, if you want to know where Abingdon is, we're actually in Oxfordshire. I think um, it's about 60 miles from London. Yep, we've already done half a tour on the town. If you haven't seen that, go back to yesterday's vlog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, we're going back into town. We haven't even done the proper part of town yet, the no, centre bit. So, no. looking forward to this. So, let's start this day off with a couple of facts for you, Mazzy. Yeah, just one at a time. One now, one later. Mm -hmm. But I like oh. to tell too. Okay, shall we do someone famous or do you want a fact? Famous. Someone famous? Yep. Um, one of the best actors of all time, one of the funniest men of all time, he came to school here, Mazzy. Who? He was in Mitchell and Webb. Can you remember that? No. The Peep Show. No, I know it. I've heard of it, I think. You've watched all the Peep Shows with me. No. Um, I've not watched the Peep Show. You have, every one of them. Uh, David Mitchell. I probably fell asleep. <laughs> David Mitchell is hilarious. He's one of my favourite comedians. Oh, okay. And he came to school here. Right. Is that it? Well, you told me I can only tell one at the yeah. moment. <laughs> I know you're not supposed to photograph kids and things, but. It's a statue. It's more of a statue, I isn't it? Don't see it like that. Look at his little face there, though. Isn't it the cutest? <laughs> it's, it's good. Peculiar. There's no yeah, sign like at all, it. though, telling you who's done it or anything. No. Very nice. Yeah, very nice. So, Mazzy's so, just said this is probably the worst yeah. part of the town. Well, yeah, I've got to be honest. Yeah, it's a bit of an eyesore, isn't it's it? It's the uh, red brick, isn't it? It completely it's spoils not. it. If you come down here, Do just like a bit of an ice. It's of, horrible. Yeah. It's horrible. Yeah. Let's get but back to a good bit. That's the first worst bit I've seen. <laughs> They've even called the street Bury Street, Mazzy. Yeah, I like Everything about this place has something, some connection to yeah. Bury St Edmunds. It's oh. like Green King have come along and bought it all. Yeah, I fit with Green King. <laughs> they if, do own a lot. Yeah, very Right in front of us is a pub with a sign above it saying Green King. Stop that. I feel at home here. It's nice. Green King, the black swan. It does look cute, doesn't it? If you want a warm beer, go in there. Ask for an IPA. Stop that. <laughs> Just get a John Smith there. One thing they do have, Mazzy, in the black swan is... Yes. Uh, They've got John Smith's. Yeah, happy now, aren't you? Yeah. What, what do you say to Green King for allowing John Smith's into your pub? Well, I, I've only ever been in one Green King pub before which has got a John Smith's. They don't normally sell John Smith's. So well done. I'd definitely say this is the... the ru rougher end of town. I would say so, but it still ain't that bad. It's not that bad, I don't no. feel uncomfortable or anything like that. The people still seem nice. Usually if you go to a rough town, you know, you know you're there when the, the people there. Mm. The blue ball. And takeaways and things. Yeah, there's a blue bar. You know, we went to the blue cow. cow. Yeah. So this must be allegiance to the same kind of people. Yeah. You know, like a political party. Yeah. Because they'd call all their premises like blues. Blues yeah. this, blue that. Um, hold on, hold on. So we found some more properties in Abingdon. Now, these ones are to rent, uh, to let, you know, rent. Uh, which I find really, really cheap. A three-storey townhouse, 1,400 per calendar month. That is cheap. If you come over here, that is really cheap. Come over here, look, you get a first floor studio flat for 695 per calendar month. We are on two different wavelengths, me and you. Where I come from, Mazzy, a house, <coughs> 400 quid rent. That's all it should be. You can't even rent anywhere in Berry Sedmans for less than £2,000. So, and that would even go for a one bedroom flat. 
I Just rented a one bedroom apartment yeah. for 400 quid a month and it was beautiful. It wasn't rough or run down, it was beautiful. Yeah, but we're talking to two different areas. I understand, that's really cheap, isn't it? Mm, this is a bit odd. <laughs> You've got this plinth here, which is a war memorial, but there's no statue on top of it. As if there's something missing there. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, are we back in town now? Well, we've never left town really, but we have no. been going around the outskirts. That's nice. What's that like, a town hall? Ask Italian well, restaurant. That, but it looks like it would have been a town hall, yeah? Uh, yeah, it does look like it was something special once upon a time. Just past the florists. <laughs> and there were some very unusual looking flowers on the floor. They were like green stems with a red tip. Yeah. And Maz is saying, are they real? Are they real? And the man comes behind us whose shop it is. He says, yeah, they're a kind of cactus. He was foreign. He was quite hard to, un like Italian I or something. I him, yeah. Um, he says, I was selling them for Valentine's for £20. Loads of people were buying them. He says, they're only £5 now. He says, come back in a month. They'll be £3. I says, right, I'll see you in three months. And then he said, for five then, I'll be giving them, to, paying you to take them off my hands. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny, wasn't it? Right, we've come to the end of town now, just to see this, because it looks very good from a distance. Yeah. It's just a pub again, isn't it? Actually, have we walked past this? No, we've not walked down here, Mazzy. We've never been down here. Oh, so I'll be honest, that the whole town, this probably is your more characteristic, only characteristic building here. Characteristic. Yeah. And you don't get any more characteristic than that. It is beautiful, isn't it? So we're coming up to the centre of town now. Yep. Um, I'd say this is probably the busiest part. We've got the Narrows, which is a Weatherspoon across the road. It is the High Street, so it's going to be the busiest Is it called part. the High Street? Yes. <laughs> There's a Mediterranean restaurant here, which I was looking at yesterday. This looks amazing. It does sound pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. You've got a couple of pubs here, and across the road there is the oh, old chemist. Yeah, that looks really interesting, doesn't it? It's shut down because of asbestos, asbestos apparently. Yeah. And the Weatherspoons, the Narrows, it used to be, what was it, a post office? Post office, that's it. And there's a load of men in the window waving and stuff. <laughs> Come on, let's carry on. Well, it was called, it's called the Narrows because this area was known as the Narrows because this street was a lot narrower. Oh, really? Yeah, and then oh, there, was a big, there was a big fire and it destroyed a lot of it, so they re had to rebuild the other side. Right. So it's wider than it used to be. I like Weber Spoons for that. They try and sort of keep that history going, don't they, in some places like that. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, right, where now then? Uh, we need to be heading up here, Mazzy, towards yep. that big thing. And action! Up there, up there! <laughs> Very nice. We're in the market square now. Yes. Um, Not really particularly sure what this building... I mean, we, we know what it is now. What is it? Well, it's a museum now. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a museum. And it's £2 to get in, which is fantastic. It used to be a town hall, I do know that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, obviously, look how beautiful it is. Yes, I believe that was the town hall and used to have a market going on under there, which we'll take you under in a moment because it looks pretty cool above. So you'd have a big market around here. Well, it is a market town. It is a market town. <laughs> um, I've got a fact about the balcony up there, Mazzy. Yes. Well, I need to read it before I come oh. on, on, on camera. Shall I say what it is? <laughs> yeah, go on. Something to do with the mayor? The mayor? Is it the mayor? Nothing to do with the mayor. The cou town councillor? No. Let's just wait for Dan. <laughs> OK, bun throwing. Bun throwing, Mazzy. Yep, a tradition here. It's, it's a tradition here in uh, Abingdon and they'd throw buns off the top of that balcony. Why? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but it was the mayor or the town councillor that does that. Yes, it will be, probably. No, you're trying to get me mixed up. Look, I'll just tell you what I know. Okay, they started this tradition in 1761, so it's yep. gone on for a long time. I'll stand in front of it, shall I? Yeah. So you can see it. Yeah. Um, 
It says local dignitaries, so it's not necessarily the mayor, but it probably is. Yeah. Um, last time there was one, 5,000 bums were thrown off there in 2018. And they'd throw them into crowds down here on specific days of celebration, such as coronations and jubilees and royal marriages. Yeah. Um, there's been 35 bun throwing events in over so time. There's not many, really, is there? <laughs> it's not like a yearly thing, no. no. So I'm, there will be one this year because it's the Queen's Golden Jubilee. Yep. So um, June this year, you can come down. Whatever here. it is. I don't even know what what is a jubilee this year. I don't know. It's something really special. Well, it's in June this year anyway. You can come down and throw some buns. No, get some buns. Get some You've buns. You've got to get some buns. I'd love to see that. I bet it's really good. Yeah. Uh, but, um, isn't it something to do with this um, throwing buns little shop there? The cake, aren't they the ones that make the buns? I've read about something like that. Mazzy, they've done this <laughs> since 1761. Oh, okay. I don't think that shop's been here since 1761. <laughs> it's called throwing buns. That's though. just a very clever baker's who's stolen the name. Anything else then? Yeah, if you want more. Do you want, do you want something else? Go on then. Um, right, nearby is Fair Acres Retail Park. Yeah. Well, that's special, isn't it? Fair Acres Retail Park. Yeah, it's thought to be the first retail park in England. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Next. Don't you like that one? Oh, I'm just not a big fan of retail parks. It's, well, it's, just... it's got an Argos, a Subway, a B&M, Dreams, oh, let me, Hold on, let me just get excited. Yes! The first retail park in England, Mazzy! <laughs> right. <laughs> Can we just get back to your buns for a moment? Yes! <laughs> um, the museum yep. has got a lot of dried and varnished buns Ooh. dating back to the 1800s. I had a feeling there'd be one there somewhere. I bet that's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. The thing is, that's only open till day. It's not open yeah. tomorrow. And I don't know if we're in the mood for a museum. We'll see, we'll, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. So let's just take a look underneath it then. Yeah, it's all beams. Lovely wooden beams above there. And the lantern. And the lantern, yeah, that's nice. Um, the museum is here. It's actually free, has it? It's oh. just a suggested donation of two pounds. Oh, that's really, I mean, I thought two quid was good. Mm. But yeah, is that a sand colour stone again, isn't it? Sandstone, yeah. Um, so there it is, Tuesdays to Sundays, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. So it's not bad at all. No, it's open it's quite very a long good. time. Yeah. I forgot, I've got to tell you. If we don't go into the museum, even if we do go into the museum, go on the museum's website. It has the best interactive. Uh, museum I've ever come across. You know where you can walk down the corridors and click on things? Yeah. And you can basically everything in the museum you can go in free online. That's a lot click of effort going into that. A lot of effort. So they must have their own QR, QR code? Is that what it's called? QR? Maybe you could do stuff. I would say there? no because there isn't even one on the front door. Oh, okay. So no, but the, just go on their website. It is incredible. It is a lovely little sort of archway here. It is. Yeah. I didn't pick this up very well early. I don't know if I can from here. It is very nice, but it's, they've put spikes on top of it to stop the pigeons sitting up there. We've also got a feeling there might be some underground tunnels on here because they've got glass slabs. If you come over here, and you can yes. kind of see a tunnel through it. I mean, you're not going to because the... If you come at night, there might be something worth looking at under there. We're not sure. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to see through that particular glass, but it definitely looks like something's down there. Because there is lights, proper lights. Yeah. There and there, there, there. So we don't think these are just lights. We think there's something under there. No, but there. you can see. <laughs> it looks like, I don't know, it's like... We can't see. There's something yeah. there, look, but we don't know what it is. Look at that for a post box, how beautiful is that? Oh, it's got like a little... What does it say, uh, Mazzy? Be more like Eddie and Ellie. Ellie, please stop and look for a while, have a smile, but please do not take me. He took me so long to make. QR code, I suppose, if you want one to make. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I'm surprised it's not ruined. Yeah, they must have put it. They must have just put it up. Yeah. 
is cute. Very nice. <laughs> so behind us here used to be a school. Yeah, that's interesting. I did know a few facts on this, but I've forgotten what they were. Some very, very rich man used to live here. And then I think he sold it to a school. And it became a school, I don't know, 1700s, 1800 or something. And there's actually a picture of it there from in the 1800s. That's pretty cru cruel. Did I say cruel? Cool. I think it was an all girls school at one point. I don't know. I had a more, much more interesting fact, but I've forgotten it now. <laughs> been tired, sorry. Yeah, it's been a long day for us. <laughs> but I still haven't told you, Mazzy. What? My favourite person who comes from here. Oh, yeah, go on then. Can I tell you now? Yeah. Um, I need to get it up. Tom Hingley. You do this to me every time. How am I meant to know who that is? Tom Hingley? Yeah. It comes from here, Mazzy. It was the lead singer out in Spiral Carpet. Oh! I have no idea. You know it? You've never heard of the Spiral Carpet? You have? What they sing? What they sing? This is how it feels to be you lonely. You prepared that. You prepared that. This is how it feels to be small. This is how it feels when your word means nothing at all. Come on, Mazzy, I haven't prepared that. <laughs> you I can are. guarantee in Spiral Carpets was my band back in 1990. <laughs> yeah, we're born here. It's the next day. Good morning. We've still got a few little bits to show you to finish this vlog off, so come with us. Uh, we haven't been down this bit, no. which surprises me. I thought we'd done all of Abingdon, apart from where we're going. I think there is more, actually, that we haven't been to as well, but don't know if we'll get there now. <laughs> this is the King's Head and Bell here. Now, it says on this sign, which I did say yesterday, um, the old pub in the oldest town, I'll just show you the sign, read that but it does say that is the oldest pub in the oldest town and King Charles the first came here and he used to do all his operations for the Civil War from inside there he used to stay there he used to have stables for a hundred horses who lives there Mazzy? William the third William the third yeah. no Scrooge that's Scrooge's door knocker uh, William the Third stayed here. Oh, uh, okay. Well, that's interesting. 1688, when he was going on his way from Torbay to London. So we've got King Charles the First staying up in the pub down there. I bet they drunk together, didn't they? He got a bit drunk. I don't think they'll have been around at the same time. Oh. <laughs> because they were both kings, and they wouldn't both be kings at the same time. Oh, and they both they? kings. Well, William III. King William the Third was a king, yeah. Oh. So this is the one thing I really wanted to take you to today, Mazzy. Yeah. It's special. Why? It's a church <laughs> dating from I think about the eleven about eleven hundred. Really? Yeah. And it is the second widest church in the whole of England. Wow. I'm hoping to get in to see how wide it is. Yeah, I can see a door open, actually. Good. Let's get in. St Helen's Church. It's got a good feel about it. They do, don't it? It's got I some lovely, lovely graves yeah. in the graveyard there. <laughs> and the door over here is incredible. Oh, that's nice. Look at the London. It's very windy today. It is. Out of all these storms we've had, it, throughout the whole of Britain, I would say today is the windiest we've had it. For us too, yeah. Through the day, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, look at this archway. And this is lovely. Oh, yes. <laughs> See the little statues above the door? Oh, yeah, look at them. Very nice. Open to visitors and for prayer, so we can go in there if it's open. St. Ellen's Church, let's have a good read. What a beautiful church. It's got such a lovely view in here. It's lovely, it? really nice. Look at the ceiling itself. The ambience of this is beautiful. 
I like the lighting in here from That's the... That's what I meant by the ambience. Yeah, from the stained glass windows. It's a really nice feeling here. A beautiful font here with a wooden top. Oh, which you can pull up on a chain there. And behind us here, this is uh, Mr. Royce. This guy is the one who owned the school. And I believe he sold it to the school or something. Very old, but he's buried in here. You know you've got a good church, Mazzy. Yeah. When they've got posh candles. Look at them candles. They're very posh, aren't they? Have you seen what I've just spotted, though? No, what have you spotted? Look up at the roof here. Oh, wow. Now, we did just see a sign outside saying something about, I think it was about 96 painted panels on the ceiling. A shame you can't zoom in. If that's a region. It's got, that's not really oh, yeah, that's, true, is it? That's old. It's just so ornate. Every part of the place, even the floor, the tiled floor, look. That is beautiful. You've got the... Uh, some people's heads up there. That's a nice ceiling as well. A huge cross up here. You can stay here all day. Yeah, you like it here, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I feel really nice here. Yeah, I really like it. And I've just remembered what I said outside. It is the second widest church in England it it's is. It's wide. <laughs> it's not like, it, it's more square, isn't it, than long? Yeah, I don't know how to explain it. goes from it. that side to that side, and then from there to there, it's, it's square. It's very unusual. Mm -hmm. See the organ behind you, look? Yeah. Well, that's not the organ, they're the place. This is the organ, I've got a little fact about it. It's from about 1927 last, and how they blow these, Yeah. they've got a pump in a little outhouse outside, it's like a little brick shed that pumps all the air for this, which I found quite interesting. How did you know that? Because I, I pay attention. Have you seen this lovely god playing a harp up there, look? Oh yeah, show them the cross up here, like this other yeah, I did show them from the other side, but you can see it better it's on this side. It's beautiful. It's so unusual. It is. I'd love to stand up there and look down on the old place. It's very nice. It looks like a little walkway. It does. What I am struggling to understand is where they actually do the services from. What, like where they stand, you mean? That'd yeah, be because it's there. square. There isn't like a front to there it. There is. See that over there? Where? The wooden... Enclosure bit. Yeah, but that's just like a little room, isn't it? No, this here. The hexagon oh, shape. Oh, here. You see, no, you see the hexagon shape? No. <laughs> Wait there, look. Oh, yes, I see it, I see it. See it? So <laughs> basically, they stand in the middle here. Yeah, it's all in the middle here, isn't it? Yeah. And you've got seating all around. Well, actually, I Very wasn't unusual. pointing to this. I was pointing yeah, to I know this you were. wooden thing up here. I know you were. So there's yeah. up there and there's here as well. Very unusual this shape. This is really nice. Uh, you just saw something over here yeah. which does look interesting. It looks quite fascinating. Looks old. They've obviously preserved it, haven't they? Yeah. It's like a brass. Oh, it's all in Latin, so I can't read it. It's not going to be the best uh, picture either. There you go. Very nice. I should have put my uh, light on the camera today. A lovely deacon there. It looks a bit angry, I'll be honest. Charles Twitty. Yeah, it's a funny name, but I was actually reading the story. It's actually quite interesting. I'll put it on here in case anyone wants to read it. I can't be bothered at the moment. Charles Twitty, what a lovely name. Yeah, when he died, basically, he gave the sum of £1,700 to build um, a hospital ah. somewhere here. That's nice <laughs> but, of him. Yeah, that's nice. Lovely statue again here. 
memory of father and son. Yeah, don't know. What a beautiful window, there. Somewhere in here, there's a sign outside saying somewhere in here there is a Christ on a crucifix of lilies. But it's like lily, a lily. I can't say the word. A lily crucifix, but I can't find it anywhere. Yeah, I'm wondering if it was a pane of window. I can't, I haven't seen it. I've been looking. That has to be the most uh, decorated of them all. Look at that for a marble statue. To Mrs. Elizabeth Hawkins, 1780, she died. Yeah, beautiful church. That was unexpected, I'll be quite honest. I fully enjoyed that. I did it see was some beautiful. I saw some pictures of it online and it did look incredible on yeah. the photos, so but it was a bit even better than I expected. This is what I was looking for. Where was it? Somewhere on here. I've lost it again, Mazzy. Yeah, I remember seeing it myself. Oh, oh this is the little outhouse I was telling you about though. Oh, the small brick. Oh, so you read it out here? Yes. Ah. <laughs> and that is the John Royce, whose grave I showed you, who... From the school. Uh, ...refounded the original grammar school. Oh, I saw this. Yeah. You see all these little circles? It was like a, a tree, like yeah. a family tree. Right? I did. Oh, yeah. 17th century wooden panel shows the family tree of William Lee. Oh, I, I see. I did see a plaque on the wall for him, actually. Yeah, this was nice. It was like a um, embroidered sort of picture. Oh, it was lovely. Very nice. Oh, there's my Jesus. Oh, it's a panel then, isn't it? So it was one of the panels on the ceiling, but it's got a lily crucifix. Yeah. So you can see them quite well there. Very, very nice. Should we take a walk round the back? We have to go round the back, Mazza, because there's more to see. Is there? The Alms House, somewhere around here. Alms houses. What's this? This looks, that's it, isn't it? No? That looks almsy. It does. It looks like a schoolhouse with that bit on top, isn't it? Yeah, it's unusual. Twitties. Is that, wasn't that the guy's name inside? Yeah, Twitty. Twitties. Oh, this must... was the hospital then, was it? Oh, maybe it was. Yeah, yeah. To or be maybe... used of the poor for this hospital forever or something. Did you read that? So this was a hospital or was this the alms house? Is the Alms House a sort of... Oh, look at this down here. Oh. Oh, my God, maybe that's it. <laughs> yeah, this looks very nice. What a lovely church. It is. Beautiful. Even the side of it, look. Beautiful. See how wide it is. Now. Yeah, it's five aisles, it says. So there's one there, one there, three, four, four. Yeah, it's like five aisles long. So we just thought we'd do a bit of trespassing. Just come through someone's <laughs> gate to come in here. Uh, I don't know if anyone lives here though. I don't know. No, I don't <laughs> think they do. This was the Alms House, we're pretty sure, simply because we can see the word Alms on there. It's like a beautiful stable. It's beautiful. You see that bit up on top of the roof as well at the same time. Oh yeah, very nice. What was it used for? Well, it'll be like the one in Stratford. It's just where they gave the old people homes oh okay uh, and maybe the poor i'm not sure you know if you if you went to the church and you were in dire need of help they might yeah. put you in a alms oh, house that's nice, to look after it? you it's lovely isn't it it is really nice yeah look at the picture we found a sign we found a sign so, Long Alley Arms House, that's what it's called, and it was here, built in 1446 and 1447. It's lovely. Very old. <laughs> now, the front bit here, all this bit here, was actually added in 1605 and 1618. And the other arms houses, it says, one of them is the Twitties. So that, that's an alms houses as well over there, what we saw. I just spotted a sign. Should go and have a Oh, another sign, and then we can just pop down there, Mazzy, onto yeah, the riverfront. That's interesting, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm getting hungry now as well. Hungry? We've just got up. I know, I am hungry. So we're having a little read. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is your dude, Charles Twitty. That's what he looks like. He looked very much like Charles I, wouldn't you agree? 
don't know Charles the first. Do you not? No. You were a king. Yeah. He was the one who stayed in that pub. Oh right, I see. Okay, yeah. Will William's friend. Oh yeah, yeah. Who yeah, was no, also a king, yeah? Yeah. Um, it does say here, when first constructed, the almshouses provided accommodation for six poor women and seven poor men. Today, it provides sheltered accommodation for seven individuals, so it's still in use. It shows here, sort of just the painting of what it may have looked like back in the day. So. Yeah, we don't know if it was painted back in the day or it's just an interpretation of what it would I'd have looked like. Say just, yeah. I'm not sure. Very nice. Yep. So we do want to get round the other side because we're thinking, we can see the chimneys here, we're guessing this is the other side of here. Yeah, I think we've got to go out and round. Yeah, we'll, we'll see if we can get round. Come and check the chimneys out, Mazzy, they're incredible. Oh, I haven't seen them yet. Look how tall they are. Oh yeah. I'm really surprised they haven't fallen down. But you know, that's the first thing I thought, yeah, with the storms, yeah. So that's the bridge what we crossed, we're parked over there, so that's coming into the town. Paddle hire, not sure if that's boat hire. Got the old anchor hip. And this pretty much is as far as we're going. I don't think there's anything else more up there. But... There is a really nice river road walk. There's more signs down there, but I think that's as far as we're going, is it? Oh, there's a little bridgey there. Let's just go have a look at that one yeah. sign. I just wanted to, because they had a, like a level where like it flooded. But it's, right. it's only there. Oh, it's not very high though, is no, it? No, but you think, Tiny. if you look down there though, that's quite high really. Oh well, yeah, it's quite, it's a good eight to ten foot up from the, what it is now. Just looking at this photograph here. You see the bridge here? All these people are skating. This is from Skating on the Frozen Thames, uh, 1895. And they are all stood here. The thought that this was all frozen in 1895, it's incredible. And that's the bridge on the photograph. That's how I know it was here. Just been talking to one of the local men no, he sounded for Polish. Yeah, it was foreign. I don't know about Polish, but it was foreign. Oh, such um, a lovely guy. Talked very quietly, so I couldn't really, couldn't really understand what he was saying. But what I did hear him say, we saw him in the church, you see, just as we were coming out, he was going yeah. in. Uh, and he just said he's retired now and he doesn't know what to do with himself. He just seemed really lonely, didn't he? He seemed lost, didn't he? Yeah. And it was quite sad because he was such a lovely guy. Yeah. We've just passed St. Ethelwald's house. Yes. And it said on the sign outside, we don't know what it is. Um, it said on the signs, you are welcome to come in and enjoy our gardens whilst during daylight hours when the gates open. I feel a little awkward, really, but it is oh, I don't. a beautiful place, isn't it? It is, yeah. So I thought, you know, let's just go inside and have a look at the garden. Yeah. <laughs> More people should do that, just have signs outside your garden saying, come and have a yeah. look. Yeah, I agree. I do feel like I'm in someone's garden though. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Right on the sort of river there, aren't we, sort of? It's nice. So that's the end of the garden tour. <laughs> Very <is> random. Beautiful. <laughs> Very I, random. I appreciate them allowing people to come in. It's nice, isn't it? Ooh. I bet once it's all flowering, you know, it'll be, look beautiful in here. Well, they obviously do look after it in the summer because this looks like it's a vegetable patch. Um, and the amount of irrigation they've got going on down here, see all these pipes? They obviously really look after it, but this time of year there's not much happening. <laughs> right, should we get out? I'm feeling a little awkward. <laughs> Oh, there's a sign on the door there, Mazzy. Come in and have a cup of tea. <laughs> and a biscuit. <laughs> but look at that tree. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, gosh. Oh, they've had to prop it up, haven't they? Yeah, it's been propped up, but how it looks like that, I don't know. It's like it's got a big scab on it. I suppose as it was growing, they'd entwine it like that, would they? And it would have been... Well, they do with some trees. I don't know if they... Maybe they have, yeah. 
Yeah, because yeah. it's a willow, so yeah, they probably have done. Very <laughs> unusual. That will take them about 30 years to make it look like that. Yeah, yeah. So that completes our tour of Abingdon. Mm-hmm. The 13th worst town in England. What did you think, Mazzy? It should be the 13th best. <laughs> it should definitely be on the best list. It should, in our opinion. Yep. So far, that's one of the best places we've been on this tour, isn't it? Yep, yep, certainly is. For me now, this is coming <clears throat> in my second best. Mm. Definitely. Whoever has come up with this list we found online, I'm just guessing they've never been to Abingdon. I'm guessing they've never really been to any of the towns, some of these towns. I don't know, they're just... I I'm quite pleased we're doing this tour now because I feel like we're giving a proper review. Review. Yes. Not just looked it up on Google and decided no. it's a rubbish town. We know if it's somewhere's good or not because we've it, been. It has so much to offer here. You have walks, you've got history, you've got beauty, you've got parks. You've got, obviously, the town centre, you have things to do in the town, restaurants, museums, everything. It is so caterable for everybody. It's very caterable. Yeah, it is though, isn't it? It's, it would suit everybody. And the car park's uh, pretty good on this side of the bridge. There's, Amazing. There's one just for cars on the other side, which is a lot bigger. It's under a fiver a night to stay here. For 24 hours. Yep, and you can stay maximum of three nights. Yes. That's brilliant. And we felt safe here, didn't we? Yeah, very. No bother. Very. No. We're just next to the entrance to the park part here, and I thought there'd be loads of people walking past. There hasn't been, have no. there? It's no, been really nice. dog walker, but, you know, to be expected. And it's not far from here to walk into town. Hmm. Not even five minutes, is no, it? No, no. <laughs> so... <clears throat> we hope we've given a good interpretation of the place. We hope you've yes. enjoyed that tour because we've enjoyed making them two videos, yes. haven't we? It's been a good two days for us. So if you do hear anything bad about this town, either judge it by our opinion or come for yourselves. Definitely worth a visit to come, isn't it? Mm. And if you hear anyone putting it down, say, well, get over and watch the Travel Trolls yes. video because that'll <laughs> prove to you that it's not. It's a brilliant place. Yeah. Right, we'll leave it at that. We'll yep. catch you tomorrow. Is it going to be a worst town or is it going to be a best town? You'll come have to come back, back to find out. You Bye. all have a good night. See you later. Bye. Bye bye.